I love that I get to meet so many interesting people on this show. I have met presidents and Oscar-winning actors and, of course, thousands of shirtless hunks. And, <laughs> of course, I get to re meet regular people who inspire me, people with heartwarming stories, real-life heroes, uh, kids that are so cute they make me want to have one almost, almost. <laughs> And I thought today I would bring someone out who inspires me because her spirit is unbreakable. Please welcome my friend, Ellie Kemper. today, so oh. be kind of one Ellen, another. sorry, but I'm pregnant now, so I'm dancing for two. So. I see, I get it. You, you said that with it, okay, yeah. Hey, um, Ellie, yeah. I have a favor to ask of you, okay? Oh, okay, yeah. I would like you to uh, just take over the show for me today. Do you think you can handle that? Are you kidding? Do you not remember I filled in for you when you were sick, so? Yes, well, I was on cough medicine, so it's a blur, but I'm sure <laughs> you'll do a great job It's just sharing the same heartwarming stories that I, I would like to share, moments from this season, like the time that we met Sam and Chris. They worked together at Starbucks. A sweet moment between the two of them turned into a huge viral video. Do you remember? I do. Then you should watch. 66 million of you have watched our next guest video, but there's more to his story than just being a dancing barista. His name is Sam, and he's autistic. Sam was told he would never be employable, but he was given an incredible opportunity by a Starbucks manager named Chris. Hey, <laughs> thank you so much for being here. This is your first talk show, huh? Yeah, I love, it's my first time being here and I'm a huge fan of you. Oh, well, thanks so much. <laughs> I'm a huge fan of you. <laughs> so, so how did you two meet? Well, Sam and I met at a camp called ISAND. Uh, uh, camp Thrive was a camp where we went to we got to meet kids who are with autism. Uh -huh. um, Sam really stood out to me when I actually met him. Um, he told me one of his dreams he wanted to be is a barista, and I tried to make that happen. So, so you, that's amazing. Uh, that <laughs> okay, so you met at the camp, and then how long after was the interview? Um, Sam. Um, so I went to the store, and I thought I was gonna get an, a formal interview. But then Chris just said, you got the job. And in that moment, my life changed and my whole world changed. Yeah, I bet it did. <laughs> I bet it did. <laughs> I mean, it's your, it's your dream job. I mean, what a, an amazing thing that you meet and have this instant connection and you go in and, you, okay, so you're dancing behind there. Tell everybody why you're dancing. Um, so basically the reason I dance is to concentrate. I, con I concentrate a lot better when I dance, and um, yeah. Me too. So. <laughs> yeah, me too. I concentrate a lot better when I dance, which is not really that good. But well, um. I, I could add on to that. Through Sam's jerky movement, through his autism, um, the music and the dance was able for him to control himself, focus on the drinks, focus on the routines. Um, he's become more comfortable and. He's been doing so great. Yeah. So you like working with Chris? Yeah. He, he's an amazing boss. And he's also like a really, really good friend. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't, give, him, I wouldn't give him up for anything. Aww. Pretty amazing. Oh, so amazing. <laughs> Pretty amazing. You're 17 years old? Yes. 17 years old. So have you seen, a, a, you, must have, you must see a change in Sam since you hired him. Oh my gosh. When I first met Sam, he was a little shy. Um, he could, we had heart trouble looking me in the eye. Um, through the progression, I've seen Sam being so outgoing with our customers. He's been able to make all the drinks. He's so friendly and he works really independent. And he's probably changed you too. Oh my gosh. Sam has such a big heart and He's made me a better person now. 
You know, it's, it's stories like this, you know, to hear that you were told you wouldn't be employable, that you were not going to be able to work, and you make this connection, and you give Sam a job, and he's excelling at, as, as, as an employee and as a person, and helping you at the same time. I hope more people see this and see that you actually can hire people that you think you shouldn't hire, and I hope more people do that right now. It's fantastic. I mean, and I hope you know you're an inspiration, Sam. I mean, to so many people watching right now, you're a huge inspiration. You're an amazing guy that you hired, Sam, Thank but this you. is incredible. You make money uh, by tips, right? I want to make sure you get as many tips as possible. I'm going to give you a tip jar. <laughs> so. Okay. Sam, there's a place that you've always, you love to travel, right? Yeah. Where do you, where is this a place that you've always wanted to go? Since I was about four, I've always admired Japan. Japan, since you were four years old. Yeah. So you're drawn to go to Japan for some reason. Well, we want to make sure your dreams come true, so you're going to Japan. Whoa! You're now watching The Ellie Show. Yay! <laughs> Hooray! Today we are showing clips from my show, Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. Oh. Oh. Sorry, I, I, I misunderstood. We're not, okay, we're not doing that. That's okay. Back to Ellen's favorite inspiring moments, which will also be good.